How powerful is silence after a breakup? If you've recently gone through a breakup, you might be wondering how to handle things now. How long should you wait before contacting your ex? Should you be the one to call or text them? Or is it for the best to totally cut all ties? You may be tempted to reach out to your ex, but it's important to take time to heal emotionally before you try to mend the situation. At this stage, to make your ex come back to you, the power of silence after a breakup can be just what you need. That means no texts, no phone calls, and no connecting over social media. And you also shouldn't see each other in person either. This period of time gives both of you a chance to reflect things and get back on track with your own lives. Let's say you can't stay silent. You are pining for an ex, you miss them. You want them back and you'd give anything to go back to the things were. This desire can trigger desperation, and in your desperation, you may overwhelm your ex, which will lead them to run even more. Have you done this kind of drunk calling before? If you come across as drunk calling to a barrage of text messages and overly dramatic social media posts, you are basically pleading with them, begging for their attention. This may make you come across as needy and pathetic, and your ex may lose any respect they have for you. Besides, if they don't respond to you, it can severely impact your confidence and self-esteem. On the other hand, the silent treatment after a breakup allows you to keep your self-respect and dignity intact. You may feel the crippling pain of a heartbreak, but by not giving your ex a chance to show their indifference to your pain, you can avoid adding insult to injury. Here's a true story about why silence is powerful. There are two couples named Kate and Jake who are in what seemed to be a dead-end relationship, who had been together for six years. One day, every time Kate suggested discussing their future, Jake would become withdrawn and stop communicating. This will lead to a huge fight and they decide to part ways. Kate went completely silent. She made no attempts to contact him nor responded to his texts. Then after three months, Jake showed up to her door wanting to talk. Kate laid out all her reservations and expectations on the table. They talked and found the middle ground for taking a relationship again. Her boyfriend Jake said, During the breakup when Kate went radio silent on me, I realized how much she meant to me. My feelings for her were a lot stronger than any fear of commitment. In this story, is it better to be mysterious after a breakup? or go begging for an ex's attention. If Kate and Jake is anything to go by, the answer is pretty clear. Let's take a moment why is silence is so powerful. When a person decides to pull a plug on a relationship, the equation cannot remain friendly. And it is rare that both partners decide to end a relationship at the same time and for the same reason. The feelings of anger and hurt you feel after being dumped can make you do some silly things. You may end up getting angry, saying things you don't mean, or risk coming across as needy and desperate by begging and pleading with them to take you back, trying to guilt them into changing their mind, or worse threatening them. These actions only do more damage to an already fragile bond. This mess and nastiness can kill hope of you getting back together or even maintaining a harmonious relationship in the future. Even worse, it will give you multiple experiences you will regret in about six months' time. Every time you remember that night you got drunk and called your ex, you'll be cringing about it, trying to hide your face. That's why the power of no contact is that it saves you from letting your emotions get the better of you. Besides, you learn to deal with and process your pain on your own. This is a big step toward realizing that you don't need another person to make you whole. Although being dumped by the silent treatment, your ex will realize as well that you don't really need them as much as they thought you did. Your life is yours to live and to improve. You don't need a toxic partner to help you out. Whether you want to put a relationship behind you or are hoping for reconciliation, silence is the most powerful tool for the following reasons. 1. It gives you time to reflect on your relationship issues and decide what you truly want without being influenced by your ex's opinion on the matter. 2. It helps you heal from the pain of the breakup. 3. It gives your ex a chance to miss you. 4. It makes your ex want to talk to you because if they do, it's out of their free will and not under pressure. 5. 
It gives both a chance to resolve negative feelings about the breakup and put them behind. While you are doing silent treat me, you should still do everything else that you are supposed to do during the no contact. That includes physical activity, social activity, relaxing activity, and self-improvement or things that you always love to do. Because the real power of silence after a breakup is that it sets you free from your fears, inhibitions, and dependence on another person. What you choose to do with that freedom is up to you. To get the most out of going off the radar after a breakup, it's vital that you start this process with a preset notion of the outcome. Just take one step at a time and see where the paths lead you. Whatever happens, you got this. Breakups are hard, but if you stick to silent treatment, you will heal so much faster than you would have thought possible. Believe me. Love yourself first and everything else falls into place. That's all for today. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.